18th International Symposium on Metal Ions, Biology and Medicine kickstarts at the Nehru Science Centre, Mumbai. So to know more on Symposium on Metal Ions in Biology and Medicine, we'll take you directly in conversation with the Symposium Chair, Dr. Sunali Khanna, along with Director, Dr. Umesh Kumar Rustagi, Nehru Science Centre, Mumbai. Namaskar. And of course, this symposium is related to the metal in biology and medicine. Seeing that it started from France in 1990 and then uh, the journey began and after 2014 it was in India and this is the fifth symposium so could you brief us about the journey please absolutely right this started in France in 1990 it's an international series uh, the international metal ion symposium in biology and medicine and uh, we've been having it in India of, over the last few years since 2016 and uh, it's our privilege actually to host it in Mumbai. Of course, in 2019, it was inaugurated by the Vice President of India in Nagpur at the uh, National Environmental Engineering Research Institute. And so basically what we thought as doctors and as clinicians, as surgeons, that, you know, the doctors sat alone in their own silos, the engineers sat alone, the nuclear physicists, the biochemists, the molecular biologists, the engineers and the biotechnologists. So everybody was in their own compartment. So we needed some forum in which everybody came together to answer questions for science and answer questions that were relevant to, you know, make life easier for society, A, and bring about innovation like therapeutics, cancer therapeutics and lab innovations had to come to the common man and at an affordable price. So that is what uh, is what I initiated. So I thought this was a very relevant field in today's realm of public health where we're looking at super specialized focused medicine. We're looking at cost cutting in terms of you know artificial intelligence and cutting edge technology changing the healthcare system so we're talking about digitization we're talking about nanotechnology and metal based environmental carcinogens tobacco being one of those and uh, many other elements so we needed some forum to answer these questions together and answer the questions which had not been addressed till now so that's how this came about and it's taken a very um, you know very different pioneering sort of a role now because we have a lot of interdisciplinary research as you're aware the honorable uh, Prime Minister of India has reiterated in the new education policy in all the ventures and at all uh, you know central university forums that now it is time for multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary research. Um, ma'am, I would like to ask you of course I am from media so there is a session about that how publicity through media can be done especially related to the science and technology. So well I've always reiterated that uh, Percolating down via media is absolutely necessary. You are uh, the main force. One, the language, the mode of communication has to be percolating right to all the regional languages and dialects. I think that's most important. We've been doing a lot of work in that for tobacco cessation and awareness for the youth, which we're doing even today. For even campaigns like we're emphasizing today on Ayushman Bharat, Swachh Bharat, and we have the plastic ban and all those concepts to basically conserve the environment and uh, disseminate information. So media is, of course, yes. So what I feel is now we need to fuel research. So if it comes to research, interdisciplinary research, percolating to health issues to environment and health issues, we need the media to do that. So even spreading awareness about research opportunities, how much research is changing and the paradigm shift in the way research is being carried out in India is also being done via media. And of course the medium of communication which is through the local languages. And I think media also plays a big role in putting everything in a very good package form. So maybe scientists and doctors cannot do it as well as you can do it. So there has to be some integration into it which is why we have this session. Most importantly also it's very important at this stage to understand because of now social media people are more adept to you know absorbing whatever is being said on these forums so we have to be careful about what you're spreading that is something which has to be kept maybe working with the right people yes right people and the information coming from the right sources which is what we're doing today so it's a consortium of state and central agencies government regulatory agencies or uh, ngos so that you know the message can go down to the grassroots level and uh, those things are being looked after as you mentioned center and state and uh, it is said that one health approach is also important and as I had a conversation with one of the renowned doctors who was ex-laboratory director with WHO before. So how do you see that? How one health approach can bring a change in our India? As you just said, when you look at uh, health, one size doesn't fit all. So there's something known as genetic predisposition. So we all know that, uh, you know, unhealthy, unclean water and air is not good for human health and living beings. 
and that public health crisis ranges not only from communicable diseases and infectious diseases we need to understand that climate change today is a public health crisis so somewhere our research has to preserve the environment conserve things for the future and benefits the poorest patient in our country so that has to be the focus now genes provide the blueprint but ultimately the environment pulls the trigger and you have causation of certain diseases so you have to have a system where look at the people and the susceptibility so like say for example tobacco induced diseases or the effect of air pollution on lungs now everybody does not have to have the same susceptibility there is no threshold dose but he has to be aware of how he has to prevent the disease so that's why i think gene environment interaction is something that has to be studied and in the public health perspective also like suppose artificial intelligence now so we are using it heavily for diagnostics and uh, tele radiology and digitization is everywhere but in the medical field i think somewhere you have to understand that it has to be a good adjunct it cannot replace the mind force and that is where i think you need to understand that it's not a threat it's there to stay but it's about using artificial intelligence intelligently to get the maximum benefit so we can say the artificial intelligence can be a tool of one health approach yes it can and i think that's where we are heading now with uh, most of our uh, government strategies and i think with the g20 coming in this is all in the backdrop and the relevance of uh, the delhi declaration of the g20 leadership and i think they have made interdisciplinary research and the multidisciplinary approach the holistic management of affairs as the realm and so i think this symposium is an absolute line with the g20 and with the mandate today ma'am as you uh, said uh, the word symposium i'll bring back to the two days symposium which is held in mumbai so ma'am in your session talks about a bonanza what is that we had uh, the symposium hosted in hero science center and i realized that if we don't exhibit their main you know uh, their mandate is science education and bringing back simple things like physics chemistry general science concepts you know back to people who are already super specialized and then we have this uh, nice system of science on sphere where we can actually with ai in a lot of uh, simulation manage to show them climatic conditions and atmospheric changes of how it uh, you know the earth looks so it's about know your earth so we have planned some scientific bonanzas plus we have a journey on space science odyssey show which is a large format film which uh, is a good uh, Um, throwback about our journey into space which started say 10 15 years back and how today we look at space exploration with their aviation galleries and their aerospace gallery and especially so, the chandrayaan 3 has uh, yes, made the difference and we've been proud mission to the sun is being announced so yes we are absolutely aligned with the g20 leadership and the declaration and all that's going on in department of science technology and of course uh, department of biotechnology as well i would like to know every thing is for a mission what you are expecting after this particular two days of symposium the whole take home is that we have to endorse interdisciplinary research in the realm of all current climate sensitive diseases in the backdrop of climate change in the long covid era whatever we are facing so there are new diseases we have to learn about them we have to come out with uh, tools to combat them and uh, this cannot happen with only one branch it has to be interdisciplinary plus another beautiful thing i'd want to reiterate about science center and the culture is that in indian uh science we have a great history we are a very old civilization science and culture were always hand in hand there was a good amalgamation of arts and sciences which is what we need to bring back maybe ma'am primitive ways should be brought back yes so we we shouldn't call them primitive because they are back here you know yoga the indian forms of medicine the alternate forms of medicines they never went anywhere they were good adjuncts so we need to go hand in hand plus i think science and culture together has to be endorsed in the stem fields so the science technology engineering and maths fields have to be in lost in the youngsters which is what something like nehru science center is doing because you're amalgamating it's it's held by the ministry of culture and it speaks about science so here we are innovation the economy everything regarding a nation and its nation building which is what we're talking about today india's a leading superpower in the times to come so we need to look at the stem professions which hold all the jobs which hold all good opportunities so the science technology engineering maths are the fields with the arts which is going to really change the face of the nation sir of course nehru science center mumbai ne is bar ek phir se ek uh, karyakram aayojit kiya hai jo ki symposium ke naam se jana jata hai in metal ions in biology and medicine hmm. to sir kis tarike ka ye aayojit karyakram hai jiski shuruaat france se hui thi 1990 mein aap yahan dekhenge jo metal ion hamari body mein bahut 
उपयोगी हैं और जो इसकी प्रोग्राम की शुरुआत हुई है तो ये कैंसर से रिलेटेड भी है दूसरी बीमारियों से रिलेटेड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इम्बेलेंस में भी आप देखेंगे जब हम किसी पैथोलॉजिस्ट के पास जाके चेकअप कराते हैं या अपना लिपिड प्रोफाइल और बहुत सारी चीज़ें जब टेस्ट कराते हैं तो उसमें पता चलता है कि हमें मेटल आयन हमारे लिए बहुत अहम रोल रहता है एंजाइम बनाने में प्रोटीन बनाने में तो साइंस सेंटर का उसमें यह रोल बन जाता है कि जो चीज़ें अच्छी हैं वो लोगों में जागरूकता फैलाने के लिए एग्जीबिशन के माध्यम से लेक्चर के माध्यम से पहुँचाए तो इसलिए हम लोग उसके साथ में जुड़े भी हैं और जैसा आपने बताया प्रोग्राम तो बहुत पहले से हुआ ये अभी एटीन है सीरीज में चार बार आ, इंडिया में हुआ है ये पांचवी बार है पांचवी बार एक्चुअली इंडिया में अभी जैसे जो उनके ऑफिस भी रह रहे हैं वो उनमें से कुछ इंडिया में मौजूद हैं तो जो लोग अब बीच में तो कोरोना आ गया था तो हमने ऑनलाइन किया था उनकी जो सिम्पोजियम चेयर हैं डॉक्टर सोनाली खन्ना वो उनके साथ मिल हम लोग यहाँ पे कर रहे हैं सर मेरी डॉक्टर सोनाली खन्ना से काफ़ी विस्तार पूर्वक चर्चा हुई तो मैं आपसे पूछना चाहूँगा नेहरू साइंस सेंटर मुंबई की देन है जो कि इस तरीके के कार्यक्रम आयोजित करता रहता है जिससे और अवेयरनेस फैले तो इस प्रोग्राम के पीछे आपने जो उद्देश्य बताया उसके अलावा कोई मैसेज देना चाहेंगे साइंस सेंटर का जो मुख्य उद्देश्य है उसमें यह है कि लोगों में जागरूकता आनी चाहिए आप देखिए हमारा शरीर इस तरह का बना हुआ है ना कि केमिस्ट्री में कुछ भी आप एक्स्ट्रा डालेंगे तो कहीं ना कहीं वो इफेक्ट कर तो जैसे प्रिवेंशन हम बात करते हैं प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर यदि आप अवेयर हैं तो आप बहुत सारी चीज़ों को रोक सकते हैं तो उद्देश्य हमारा एक ही है कि बहुत सारे साइंटिस्ट कभी भी पब्लिक तक नहीं जा पाता तो उनको एक प्लेटफॉर्म हम प्रोवाइड करते हैं